my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout for the day. Today's workout, um, the first five moves I'm going to be using dumbbells for, well, four out of five moves. Exercise number one is a squat rotation. Um, and I also did some cardio running today, so I'll write about that on my blog when I post this video. Everything you need to know about my full workout will be on BenderFitness.com. So here we go. For the first exercise, you're going to grab a dumbbell or you can choose to use body weight. Hold it in both hands and you're going to bring it down between your thighs, do a squat, and then we're going to add the rotation. So keep your hips pressing back, chest lifted, bring your weight up and you're going to turn your back leg out and reach up. Come back, down, that's two. Three. So we're using a lot of muscles. Five. I'm focusing on form. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Keep that back straight. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, next exercise is sumo squat kick. I'm gonna have a quick sip of water. Shake out those shoulders. Okay, so for the sumo squat kick, we're gonna take a wide stance, toes pointed out, Again, weight is optional. If you're gonna use it, hold it right at your chest level. We're going to squat and kick. Squat and kick. So here we go. I'm gonna hold it like a goblet this time. Core pulls in to support the movement. One. Two. Three. Keep the chest lifted, tailbone tucks, no arched back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Next we have weighted bridge. So I get to lay down, bring the weight across my hips, and again, for this movement, you could do body weight. Plant the heels close to your butt. Core pulls in tight. If you're using a weight, hold it securely on your hips. When you move, you don't want any chance of the weight falling off or sliding down your body and hitting you in the face. So hold it securely. Core pulls in and you're gonna push the hips up to the ceiling. Bring it down so you almost touch the ground, but not quite. Press, two, three, four, five, six. Keep that core tight. Seven, eight, 
nine. Keep those glutes and hamstrings working the whole time. Squeeze them. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Okay, now we have a fun one. <laughs> Ninja tuck jump. Okay, so for this exercise, um, I'll show you a variation first. Uh, if you can't do the jump, what you're gonna do is sit uh, on your heels, core pulls in tight, step one foot forward, other foot forward. Once you're in this low squat, tap, or you can lift and lift if you need lower impact. If you're ready for the more advanced version, sit back on your heels, arms reach back, you're gonna swing them forward as you jump your feet forward at the same time. That's one. And straight back down into it. I'm gonna move that or I'm gonna probably trip on it. Two. Six, seven, try and keep your hips low as you prep for the jump into the tuck. I think that's eight. I believe so. I lost count also. Nine. Last one. Twenty. Okay. So next we have chair pose side kick. So this is very similar to the sumo side kick, but your squat position is different. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Okay, for this one, heels and knees stay together, press them together, core pulls in, chest lifts, again, if you're holding a weight, hold it at your chest, butt reaches backward, and you're going to lift, okay, and try and keep the bend in your knees and your hips low, even as you do the kicks. Okay, so here we go. Core pulls in, butt reaches back, and one. Stay low. Two, three, four, five, six. Reach that butt backwards. Seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Keep breathing. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 
14, 15, 16, lower into it, 17, as you get tired, you might want to lift, don't let yourself, that was 18, 19, 20, okay guys, now we're on to abs, First, we have Plank Jack Froggers, which you guys are either going to love me for or hate me for. <laughs> I vote love. <laughs> um, I'm sure they'll love you after. Probably okay, not so during. For the Plank Jack Froggers, you're going to start in a plank position. Core pulls in tight, feet together. You're going to jumping jack your feet out. Core still tight, jump them in. That's your frogger. Jump them back to start, that's one. Two. Try and lift from the core. Three. See, I can kind of pause, kind of, in the air during this part. Four, because you're moving from your core. Five. Nine. This will be a nice break then. Absolutely. For your arms. We get to relax the shoulders. <laughs> okay, so for the twisting the up, lay down, core pulls in tight, arms extend over your head, shoulder blades lift, legs extend, we're going to twist. So the beginner variation is to keep the opposite foot down. So left foot down while your left arm reaches for your right. And then back and then up. If you can do the harder variation, keep both legs extended the whole time. That's two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Quick break. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. My hip flexors are burning. And actually, part of the reason that was so hard was because I changed the way I was counting it. <laughs> I started off doing right is one, left is two, and then I made it right and left is one rep because, I don't know, I guess have it. So I think I only did the first one that way. So you can either choose to do right and left as one rep, like I ended up doing, or do right is one, left is two. Okay, so go based on your level. 
Next we have mountain climber. So I'm actually gonna go for 60 leg pumps for this instead of 20. Core pulls in tight, knees drive toward your chest. Two and three and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 37, 38, 39, 40, 45, 50, 51, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Ding, Stretch ding, ding. it out. Okay. Two more exercises, guys. TikTok abs. So for this one, I'm going to pull this forward. I need a little more room. And I get to lay down. Core is going to pull in tight. Legs are going to come up to make an L with your body. Try and keep both shoulder blades on the floor, both hands palm down. So legs come up into an L. Try, it's hard, but try and keep your feet equal as you drop your feet to the left. Look up or toward the opposite hand. Bring it all up from your core. That was one. Two. Bring your gaze to center as you lift. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, and I'm never resting my feet down on the ground. I keep them hovering slightly above. 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, two more, 19, last one, try and keep that shoulder blade down, 20, okay guys, one more exercise. One more sip of water before we go on. That was more than a sip. Okay, guys. So we're going to go into a forearm plank for this one. So hands clasp, elbows line up right below your shoulders, core stays tight. And we're going to do a leg lift. So we're going to lift right, that's one, lift left, that's two, hold it there for a second, three, four, keep the core tight, five, keep the hips neutral, six, 
and don't let the back arch too much. Seven. Eight. A good way to prevent the back from arching is to reach your foot toward the back wall. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Last two. Nineteen. Last one. Twenty. Oh. Okay, guys. <laughs> that was my workout for today. Thank you all for joining me. The breakdown will be on my blog, benderfitness.com, along with every other workout I've done for the past two years. <laughs> so um, everything I've done to get in shape and stay in shape, it's all there, and it's all stuff you can do at home, plus recipes and tips for healthy living. So check it out, benderfitness.com. I hope to see you there. Have a great day, guys.